and you can see that we do have some rain showers continuing across portions of the central UP here from Gwynn back towards Republic and then back into the south central UP right here and these are all moving on off towards the south and towards the east here and as we get a little bit closer into Delta County we can see that we do have some rain showers just to the west of Escanaba here over towards Bark River and the Island Resort Casino and then just to the east of Powers. All right, Max Computer, let's fire that up here. It's a chilly night tonight with dry weather expected here as we go into tomorrow with mild temperatures. So we, once we get by the last of the rain showers and also the wintry precipitation, we're going to be dry pretty much Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday and then some slight rain chances come in here for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. But look at that mild trend here as we go into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and the weekend. Your UP community extended forecast coming up here in just a bit. Radar and satellite, there's the precipitation I pointed out to you on the high resolution radar, and that's moving on off towards the south and east. Watching another batch of precipitation, though, out over Lake Superior. Some of that may dive into the eastern UP as we go into tonight. But once we get by tonight, that's it for the precipitation. There's your upper level low spinning about here, and that's why we've seen waves of rain and snow come through here today. But as we look back off towards the west, high pressure across the northern plains and Canadian prairies will head this way. And that's what will be bringing us our dry weather for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Chillier temperatures definitely out there, especially near the Lake Superior shoreline. 38 for Grand Marais, 39 also for downtown Marquette at the U.S. Coast Guard and also Sawyer International. We're at 40 at Munising, 46 for Escanaba and 45 for Iron Mountain. High temperatures today right around the 40 degree mark or the 40s. And as we look at today's highest wind gusts, some spots had some wind anywhere between 20 and 30 miles per hour. So here's your future weather, there's going to be your rain showers or excuse me, there's your rain showers and wintry precipitation through tonight. But I think by tomorrow morning, they should all come to an end. Look for low temperatures tonight around 30 or the 30s, but there will be 20s in some interior spots, especially inland west of Marquette. Tomorrow we're looking at high temperatures around 50 or the 50s with sunshine by the afternoon and then bright, beautiful sunshine Wednesday afternoon helps temperatures to get to around the 60 degree mark or the 60s. Here's your UP community extended forecast. For Marquette, Marquette County, 50s for Tuesday afternoon inland and then inland spots Wednesday through Saturday will be in the 60s. For the eastern UP, we're looking at temperatures that will be in the 50 degree range for Tuesday. And then we're looking at temperatures in the 50s to around 60 for Wednesday and Thursday. For Delta County and Escanaba, we'll see temperatures in the 50s for Tuesday, 60s Wednesday through Saturday. For the interior west, we'll see temperatures that will be in the 50s for Tuesday, but 60s for high temperatures Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. And everybody's going to have a slight chance of rain here as we go into Friday and Saturday, but not a complete washout. Finally, for the Keweenaw Peninsula, we'll see temperatures in the 50s for Tuesday and then 60s as you head away from Keweenaw Bay and Lake Superior for Wednesday, Thursday and also Friday. Weather anytime on our WJMN Local 3 app, also online at upmatters.com. And you can find us on Facebook as well at WJMN TV on our 906 Weather Watchers page.